Alright guys, so today we're going to be making the hand-based thumb spica splint, um, also known as the short opponent's orthotic or splint. Um, so we're going to be making this with 1 8 inch polyform white, 1% um, perforated, um, like we usually use here. Um, so this is a really common splint that we use, mostly for osteoarthritis of the first metacarpal joint carpal metacarpal joint. So this splint immobilizes the carpal metacarpal joint and the metacarpal phalangeal joint. It keeps the IP joint completely free as well as the fingers so you can still make a full fist um, and as, as well as the, the wrist. You want to have all those joints free. Alright so here's our splint pattern for the short thumb spica orthotic or splint. Um, so you can see up towards the index finger of the PIP joint, that's our upper tab, and down below the thumb, um, near the, the um, MCP joint of the thumb, that's our lower tab of the splint. So what you're going to do is wrap the upper tab around to meet the lower tab. Um, so I'll show you how to do that in just a second. A um, couple other things you want to keep in mind is that the distal palmar crease is clear and the wrist crease are clear. So just act like you're going to write with that pencil. Okay, and um, so that's the position we want the thumb to be in right here. So if you could just keep your thumb right in that position, taking the pencil out, try to bring up your fingers your thumb right there perfect okay so that's the position we want to, to split her in just a functional position like that okay here we got the the splint pattern so what we do is we're just going to bring this tab on the inside of the web space like this wrap it around and it's going to attach right over here. You can back around. Take it all off together and be very gentle. Take this off at the same time. It comes right out. All right, there we go. All right, so after you've done all your final touches to your splint, the last part is just getting the straps on. So usually we just have one strap in the front um, and it wraps around the hand and goes just over to the other side. Um, so just one strap that goes around the dorsal aspect of the hand and you're all done.